boys and girls, welcome back to help me explore different things all about the ocean. So today we just have two quick little activities we're going to do. First, we're going to do a little bit of a science experiment where we make our own ocean waves in a bottle. And then I have a book about the ocean that we're going to read. So let's start with our science experiment. So to do this experiment or this activity, it's not really an experiment, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a water bottle, an empty one. You're going to need a water bottle with some water in it. You're going to need some oil. Any type of oil will do. Vegetable oil, baby oil, any type of oil. And you're going to need some blue food coloring. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, boys and girls, is I'm going to take my empty water bottle and I'm going to take my oil. Now, boys and girls, oil can be a little bit messy and slippery and slimy. So you'd really need your special grown up to help you with this. So you're going to take your oil and you're gonna carefully pour it in. You could use a funnel or ask your special grown-up if they have a funnel, that's something that helps you pour right in to your bottle. You're gonna pour it like it's about that, almost halfway like that, all right? Next step, boys and girls, is you're gonna take your bottle that already has some water in it, you're gonna unscrew it, and you're gonna take your blue food coloring. Your blue food coloring you're gonna put right in here, like this, squirt, 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 squirt. I want it to really mix in. You can see it starting to float to the bottom. I want to really mix it in. So I'm going to put the cap on really tight and I'm going to mix it back and forth like that. And now my water is blue. So I'm going to take my blue water, boys and girls, and then I'm going to take my bottle that has oil in it and I'm going to carefully pour the blue water into the oil. Now, boys and girls, oil and water do not mix. The water is going to sink to the bottom and the oil is going to stay on top. Kind of like that experiment we did with the shark. Remember the shark that has all that oil in his body so he floats up to the top? Same sort of thing. So I'm gonna fill that up like that. And you can see, do you see how all the blue went to the bottom? I'm going to put my cap back on it. And it's still settling a little bit, so I'm just going to put it down to the side. And then I'll show you how you can make it look like um, there are ocean waves in it in a minute. While that's settling, we're going to read a fun little book today called The Ocean. This is a pretty neat book. It's going to show us all sorts of cool pictures of different parts of the ocean and different things we might see in the ocean. So the ocean and the sea mean the same thing, okay? So we're gonna read The Ocean Is, and it's written by Kathleen Crankling. Kathleen Crankling, she's the author, the person who wrote the book. So let's read The Ocean Is. Ooh, look at that picture right there. Looks like a big wave starting to come down. The ocean is, and there's some little sea turtles. Salt and surf and sand and water. The oceans, these and more. Come see what else. Dive in and take an underwater tour. Look at this beach right here. Here's the ocean and here's the beach. I can tell that this picture is taken where the weather is warmer. How do you think I know that this picture is where, um, where there's warm air, where it's warmer? Look, do you see these trees right here? Yeah, those are called palm trees. So they grow where it is warmer. So that helps me figure out that this picture was taken where it's warmer. Ooh. The ocean is a playground. Seaweed for hide and seek, fish to chase, rocks to climb, sea lions have it made. It's recess all the time. There are lots and lots of things in the ocean. There's seaweeds and rocks and coral reef and all sorts. And remember when we read that story about all the mountains way down low? There are a lot of things in the ocean. The ocean is a garden. Corals bloom beneath the waves, just like a garden grows. But if you try to sniff these blooms, there's water 
are up your nose. <laughs> Look how beautiful and colorful it is. Sometimes where the ocean is where we are, when we go to the ocean, it's really hard to see things down there. There are some areas where everything is just so crystal clear. And look at all the beautiful colors under the ocean. That is very lovely. With all the fish. Ooh. That's a lot of fish. The ocean is a traffic jam. Fin to fin, nose to tail, together all the while, speeding up then slowing down. It's rush hour, fishy style. <laughs> there are lots of different types of fish, boys and girls, that they always stay very, very close together. And a type of fish that swims together is called the school of fish. But these fish right here, they like to stay very close. And wherever they travel, they travel together in this nice, big, tight group. Ooh, look at this. The ocean is an art museum. Artists must work day and night to make a sculpted look, sculpture look just so. This sponge makes art the easy way. All it has to do is grow. This is called a sponge. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the colors. It looks like there's some purple over here and some green over there. Very pretty almost does look like a painting in an art museum. Whoa, look at that. The ocean is a stage. The dolphins dance and leap above their watery arena, performing like a graceful pair of long-nosed ballerinas. Isn't that beautiful? The dolphins will just come to the surface and jump right out. That is neat. Looks like the sun is setting in this picture, and I see palm trees in the background. That means this picture was taken where it's warm. The ocean is a galaxy. When you wish upon a star, don't look up at the sky, for the brightest stars around aren't always high and dry. Usually when we think about stars, we think about nighttime and the stars up in the sky. But boys and girls, look, there are starfish that live in the ocean too. Look, do you see them all? That makes the ocean like a galaxy. Hmm, pretty neat. Oh, what is this? The ocean is a cafeteria. There's shellfish on the menu, an otter's favorite lunch, floating in the deep blue sea. What better way to munch? Oh, he's eating on some shellfish. That's an otter, and look at him floating on his back. And he found some yummy shellfish to eat. <laughs> look at those sharp teeth. I bet that helped him get through that shell. <gasps> What's that? It's a close-up of a shark. Look at all their teeth. Look at them all. Oh my goodness, rows and rows. The ocean is a dentist's office. A tiny dentist waits for this shark to open wide. To clean between those pointy teeth, it bravely swims inside. Oh my goodness gracious. There are teeny little fish. Oh, here's one right here. And their job, boys and girls, is they go into the shark's mouth and they eat like anything that's left behind. Oh my goodness, can you imagine that? The shark actually likes that because that helps keep him clean. But yeah, these little fish swim right in there and eat up all the little stuff that's left behind so the shark can have nice clean teeth. Oh, he's pretty brave. I'm not sure I would do that. Pretty. The ocean is a secret hideout to fool hungry enemies who'd eat us in one bite. We do a disappearing act by hiding in plain sight. Look, boys and girls, there are certain fish or types of fish that when they live in the ocean, um, they can change their colors and they blend in with their environment like camouflage. Isn't that cool? Do you see how he blends right in? That way, if there's like something big swimming by that's looking for something to eat, they might not see him right away. Ooh. Hmm, doesn't even look like the ocean. The ocean is a forest. It looks just like a forest. Here's something kind of fishy. The forest in the sea. Towering beneath the waves are swaying seedweed trees. Wow, it really does. It looks like the sun's peering down through trees in a forest, but this is the ocean. 
There's a little fish right there. That is so cool. With all that seaweed. Look at that. Now, boys and girls, I'm looking at this picture of the ocean. And I can tell that this part of the ocean, this picture was taken and part of the ocean that is cold. How do you think I know that this picture is taken where it was cold? Look up here. Do you see the mountains? What's on top of those mountains? Snow. So that tells me that this is a cold ocean picture right here. So now you know the ocean is much more than meets the eye. The time has come to say so long. You better go get your eye. Oh my goodness, right here it looks like a big blue whale. And he has his fin or his flipper up in the air like he's waving to us. <laughs> and there's just a picture of a water. And that's the end of our story called The Ocean Is. The ocean is an amazing place, isn't it? It sure is. Let's go back to our experiment over here. It looks like it's settled a bit. So look, you can see all the water has settled on the bottom. And here's the oil on top. Now, you want to make sure that this is really screwed on. Maybe even ask a special grown-up to take some tape and tape it closed. So all you do, boys and girls, is you hold it, hold it sideways. And then you can see the water moving back and forth. The blue part are the ocean waves and the oil is just like the air. But do you see how it looks? See, it makes waves down on either end. Whoa, whoa. It's just something pretty neat to look at. It's almost calm and real relaxing. And boys and girls, if you wanted to do your own little experiment to watch how the oil and water mix, you can try to shake it up. And, but look, the water just will go down to the bottom and then all this will start to settle down. It might take a minute, and you'll see all the blue water go to the bottom, and all the oil will stay up on the top. Isn't that neat? All right, boys and girls, thank you for joining me today and making our little wave in a bottle and reading to me all about the ocean. I had a lot of fun today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all Monday. Bye, boys and girls.